In this video, I'm going to teach you how to choose the right suppliers for your restaurants. Restaurants primarily rely on two factors to ensure their success, their customers and the quality of their food. Make sure you stick around until the very end to find out how to get my free ebook on how to successfully open a restaurant. The number of customers you get and whether they stay loyal to your business largely depends on your restaurant's management. One aspect of management is finding the best suppliers. Finding an exceptional restaurant supplier and having top-of-the-line restaurant's inventory, management is essential. This is because working with the wrong vendors and suppliers can be demanding to your business well-being. The relationship you have within your vendor meant to be long term and will help you to grow. So make sure you carry out a thorough research before settling for one supplier. Shortly, I will explain you what you need to know before deciding on which suppliers are right for your restaurants. Hi, my name is Massimo Montone. I'm the founder of Restaurant Keys and creator of Restaurants Launch Roadmap online coaching program where we take you through the seven fundamental stages, a step-by-step -step process that will help you clarify and create the perfect pre-opening plan. You see, I am blessed to have been working for the last 20 years with some of the most influential people in the industry today. And I have been able to crack what those seven fundamental stages are and why you must focus on them. You'll find a link below for more info. So, back to how to choose the right suppliers. Start by making a list of your requirements. Seems easy. The most important steps in deciding on which vendor to go for is knowing what you need from them. Sounds basic, right? But stay with me. Before you have your restaurant's big opening day, or perhaps when you are going through a revamp, you will need to do a list of what you need from equipment, the ingredients, dishware, table cover, to storage containers, all in a list, all written down. You are going to be working with a number of vendors, but the smart way to go is to try to get everything from one vendor where possible. For example, if you know that uh, you need dishware and table covers, and there is a vendor that supplies high quality supply for both, you may consider working with them rather than two separate vendors. This is lighter on your budget as well. Learn about the most popular and reliable vendor in your area and what they supply. There is no question that you must include every minor requirement. When your restaurant is ready to open in full swing and you are missing even the slightest detail, it can throw your business off track in a moment. Another aspect of uh, the list is the whether you need a regular suppliers or one-time investment. For example, for large equipment such as cooler, refrigerator, you should ideally work with a supplier who can buy high quality equipment that come with warranties and reliable policies. On the other hand, if you need a regular supplier of paper towel, any food, etc., you'll need to find a vendor that delivers those on a timely basis and regular intervals. A thorough quality check is going to make or break your decision to settle for a certain supplier. You must discuss the grade and type of all the raw ingredients. Learn about whether, where they obtain their ingredients from and how fresh they are when they are delivered to you. It's best to go to get a sample of uh, all the supply beforehand so that you know what you are signing up for. Some dishes require different stages of some raw material. Um, for example, some of your dishes will require the ripest vegetable, while sometimes you will need older vegetables. Make sure that uh, your vendors supply all the kind of ingredients you need. If your focus on ingredients is that they should be coming directly from a farm, you need to get in touch with the local supplier. On the other hand, if you need condiments, your aim should be to work with uh, the vendor who have the best customer service and don't deliver damaged or expired products. Another aspect of quality of a vendor is whether they are punctual and give thorough documentation on how many 
suppliers they have provided you with on a weekly basis along with the expenses of all. This ensures that you can check for any discrepancies and make restaurants inventory management easier. Before moving on, deciding on your budget, let me ask you to subscribe to the channel. We are uploading weekly videos on anything and everything that has to do within the restaurants industry. So click the link below to subscribe now. Decide on your budget. Now that you know what you need and how much, as well as the kind of quality you are aiming for, you need to decide how much you are willing to spend. Remember that your vendor are the lifeline of your restaurants and you will be working for them throughout your business life. So you have to think about the overall cost that you will incur in the long run. You may start off with a vendor that charges vastly high prices to find it manageable initially, especially because it gives off a more inexpensive image of or to the new customers. However, if your menu items and your overall earnings do not compensate for those expenses, you will eventually have to lower your budget. Additionally, a goal with the vendors is develop friendly relationships that are built on trust and dependability. If you have to keep switching your vendor and are constantly renegotiating prices, it creates an environment of resentment. Make sure you know what you are signing up for when you decide on a vendor that charges a certain amount. When deciding the budget, you will have to know how much you are planning on pricing your menu items. This makes it easier to determine whether you are earning enough on return from each dish as compared to how much it costs to prepare it. This makes shortlisting your vendor less challenging. Let me know in the comment below if you have had challenges to create a budget for this. Moving on to the payment system. Last but not least, check the payment options for different vendors. Do they allow financing, take returns and have warranties on their equipment? Do they allow for a credit period, which is usually necessary when you are just starting off with your business? A credit period allows you to pay a vendor after you have made money from your sales and can be up to a month long, but you will have to check with the vendor beforehand. Additionally, you will want to settle for fixed rates for your food suppliers. Because many ingredients, especially raw material, go through constant variations. To streamline your business, you should settle for monthly or quarterly rates. This is vital for getting an idea of your monthly expenditure and planning your budget. Otherwise, the changing rates will make it difficult to determine how much you are expecting to spend every month. In conclusion, I hope you have a clear idea of what you need to do before finalizing a vendor. To discover more about what kind of supplies you will need, it is important to contact an experienced restaurant consultant. The more detailed your list is, the fewer the chances of you missing out are. So to learn more about anything and everything that has to do with the restaurants industry, check out our blog on the link below. Follow us on our Instagram account, restaurants.keys, you'll find various restaurants trade secret and you can seek professional assistance from one of our experienced restaurants consultants. Don't forget to like the video if you did so or dislike if you didn't. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now is a good time to do so. Also, share the video with your friends and co-workers by clicking the share link below. Area, I promise you how you can get my free ebook on how to successfully open a restaurant. And if you're still watching, means you are enjoying the video. So you will really enjoy the free ebook. Simply click the link below for a direct download. And until next video, stay safe, be happy, and make a difference.